Hello everybody, and this is my PS3 collection. Um, it consists of 90-some games. I'm going to do this in two parts again, like I was supposed to do. Yeah, I did the last couple videos in two parts. Um, I know this was supposed to be up earlier, but I had a doctor's appointment, so I had to go to that. So it's time to get on to this collection. Uh, if anybody would like to know, I I got my PS3 pretty cheap. It didn't work at first. I only paid like twenty-five dollars for it, and then all of a sudden, after I took it and put it in four parts and cleaned it, it actually worked. So then I started buying more and more games. Like I said recently, um, I've been trying to get my collection up. So here it goes. First game is Metal Gear Solid 4: Sons of Guns of Patriots. Uh, the only one I'm missing now in the Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear series, is the original Nintendo game. This is a third-person stealth game, action adventure. Uh, God of War Collection. This consists of Part One and Two, which I have beaten on the PlayStation One, uh, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, many of times. Bought well, bought them, yeah. Uh, good games, good collection. I paid like five bucks for it. Uh, Dungeon Sage Tree. Good action RPG. Did not pay that price for it. Only paid five bucks for it. Uh, got it at a local pawn shop. Uh, this one is Resistance: Fall of Man. First person shooter where you go against aliens. Um, actually, very good by Insomniac. And you're gonna see a little bit more greatest hits games. Uh, I picked them up for a while because it was the only ones I could find. Then all of a sudden, I started picking up, I uh, started seeing the games put out, not greatest hits. Uh, just give me a second, moving my mouse around. Um, next one is Lair. Heard this is like very unique for its time. You use your controller to control your dragons and whatnot. Medieval type action adventure game. Call of Duty World at War. Picked this up for Nazi zombies. That's the only reason why I got it. I'm not a big Call of Duty fan. Uh, little Big Planet Game of the Year edition. What fun little platformer game I heard. Reason why I picked it up. Heard everybody talking about it, so when I seen it for cheap, I picked it up. Uh, next one is Uncharted: Drake's Fortune. S similar to Prince of Persia and Tomb Raider, so I had to pick it up. Uh, next one is Killzone 2. I owned the first one. Uh, Future Eyes, first-person shooter, third-person shooter. Is it first or third? I think it's first this one, or you can switch one or the other. Uh, always a Sonic fan, so when I seen this for a couple bucks, I had to pick it up. Sonic Unleashed. Heard this one here. You go fast with Sonic, and then you turn for and it transforms into a Werehog. Fun little platformer game. Uh, Fallout New Vegas. Pick this up. Has the cool slip cover. The Fallout. I heard it's like a scavenger game. You go around. Scavenge, scavenging for things. Uh, this is another Game of the Year edition, and it's Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And then after that, they stopped naming them. Like I said, just another generic Call of Duty game. I do own most of the Call of Duty games on PlayStation Trio. Though. Uh, this one here, I heard a lot of good things about it, and I've heard some crap about it. And that is Afro Samurai. Based off the TV series that used to come on Spike here. Uh, Prince of Persia, played this game on the Xbox, own it for the PlayStation 3. Uh, pretty good game, can't die into it, that's the only thing that gets me. Because no matter how much you do or whatever you do, you can't die. Because uh, the princess always saves you. Very, very weird. Because I'm used to dying in the Prince of Persia games and using the Santa time to reverse time. Uh, Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. This is like God of War style, but in Castlevania... Uh, type deal, and I heard that they finally got the 3D right, and Patrick Stewart does a voiceover as the narrator. Um, Assassin's Creed 2, did not pay 20 bucks for it. Greatest hits, I'm looking for the non-greatest hits so I can get rid of that one. Um, I find this series should have ended after part 3, and then they still continue to make games, and that is Devil May Cry 4. I uh, beat all first tree. That one there I can't get into. Uh, collector's edition of Spider Man Tree. And this has the cool little thing with it. 
uh, Hoyle, Hoyle Grin. Only paid a couple bucks for it. And I see it a couple of places where it has like a slip cover. Um, just thinking about getting it just to swap out. Uh, Final Fantasy 13. My cover is a little bit water damaged. Bought it second hand. Um, heard that the first of this, it takes a little while to get into this game. So, might take a. After I beat a couple more Final Fantasy games, I'll get into it. Uh, limited edition of Dead Space 2. I've never seen an edition that doesn't say limited edition of this. So. I don't know what's so different between this and the Xbox 360 version. It's a horror survival game. This is another first person shooter or game. Uh, the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Atom. Big fan of Riddick, so. Uh, this is another first person shooter game. And I always love the PS3 because they do artwork on the back of their games. And that's Duke Nukem Forever. Got this for ten bucks, brand new when it first came out. Yeah, wasn't that good of a game. Uh, this one is a action platformer game, and that is infamous. You get mystological powers, and you can do all these different things. Uh, got a lot of bad reviews on this one. I heard so, and I know it's a first-person shooter. Use magical powers, and it's a remake of the Super Nintendo version, and that is Wolfenstein. Uh, on to the next row. Uh, this one here was a launch title, and apparently it's like the female version of God of War, and that is Heavenly Sword. Heard the controls are bad into that. I'm not. I don't know yet. Uh, Batman: Arkham Asylum, one of the best Batman games made for our modern day, and that's a platformer game. This is another platformer game, and it's Ratchet and Clank: Future. A crack in time. Always a big fan of Ratchet & Clank. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted a PS3 and that in the God of War series and everything like that. Um, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Still sealed. Gave This was the one I got with Injustice. I gave the other copy away to my friend. That's just the uh, sealed copy. It will be opened when I get time to play it. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. This consists of Golden Axe, Altered Beast, all the Sonic games, Street of Rage, Fantasy Stars on here, Flicka, Echo the Dolphin, any type of game that was a classic for the Sega Genesis was put onto that game. Uh, I think this was the most expensive game that I bought at the time for my PS3, and it was the game that also killed my PS3 for a long while. And that was The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. It's a, an action RPG game. Uh, this one here, you love zombies and you love Dawn of the Dead. Uh, these games improvise it so so well. And that is Dead Rising 2. You can make your own weapons into it and be in, as innovative as you want. Um, this one here, the guy wanted 20 bucks for it. Uh, I said no. All of a sudden he went into a shop I used to help at. And he offered to sell it to them for five, and so they paid five for it, and then I gave them five dollars back, just to rub it in his face, and that was kills on tree. Like I said, I just wanted to be spiteful when I did it. Uh, next one is the Elder Scrolls Four Oblivion. Uh, Resident Evil Five. Zombie hunting game. Uh, next row, Eleanor by Rockstar. Apparently, this is like a uh, 50 style Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Batman: Arkham City, the sequel to Arkham Asylum. Uh, Marvel Alliance 2, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. It's beat 'em up. Pick four characters from the Marvel universe and just go around from level to level beating on people. Uh, Brink. Heard this got a lot of bad rep reputation. Uh, from what I see, it's a first person shooter type game, which you use a little bit of strategy. Uh, Vampire Rain Altered Species. Apparently, this game is pretty hard and it's pretty crap. I do have Vampire Rain on the 360. Uh, God of War Tree. 
one of the main reasons I wanted a PS3 was this game here. Uh, it took me a while to hunt it down, and then after I found it, my PS3 wasn't working at the time, so I didn't bother playing it. And now that it's working, I don't know, I just never got around to it. Next one is Quantum Theory. Uh, Gears of War clone, I find. Uh, another fun little platformer, Ratchet and Clank Future, Tools of Destruction. This is the first one in the series. And then it goes to the Kraken Time. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Argon's Quest. Fun little action RPG. Uh, Rage Anarchy Edition. I don't know if there was ever another edition released to this or not. I've never seen it, but I heard this game gets a lot of bad reputation too, and it's supposed to be a first-person shooter, and I've heard some people say it's a hidden gem. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to do three more games, and then I'll have part two up tomorrow. Uh, next game is Time Crisis 4. This is gun compatible. It's a first-person shooter. Um, Venicate, or Venatac, I don't know how to pronounce it. I only paid 10 bucks for it at Walmart when they had a Black Friday sale a couple of years ago. Looked pretty good and looked like an action RPG, so that's one of the reasons why I got it. And this one here is the White Knight Chronicles International Edition. I forgot this game even came out for PS3 until I seen it at a local pawn shop for $5. And I was like, okay, gotta have it. Uh, that's the first half of my PS3 collection. I will have the next half up tomorrow. Um, I'll have also a game review up probably tomorrow evening, so hopefully you enjoyed this part, and thank you for watching and enjoying my video game showcase. I'm building up to my big collection of PS2 games, so hopefully everybody keeps watching from here, uh, keeps watching so far, so you all take her easy, and I'll catch you tomorrow with part two.